MMA headlines. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I like that. I like He's that excited. energy. Can't be mad at him for being Audience, excited. please. This week, it was announced, there's two fights actually announced, okay. and I want to pick your brains about this fight, because I think the white belts are going to be intrigued about what you have to say. Okay. First fight, Golden Boy Promotions wow. are now thinking of promoting Chuck Liddell yeah. versus Tito Ortiz, part three. I don't know what to say about that. Mm. Do you have anything to say about that? Two weeks ago, I shot a video, if you guys were watching, I shot a video, um, they were. where we shot a video, yeah. Father Time, okay, where we, we did. discussed Chuck Liddell and how appropriate it was for him to still be fighting That's right. at the ripe old age of 69. Right. <laughs> okay. And not so, fighting John Jones, though, which is what we which is true. discussed then. Let's be fair, yeah, not fighting John Jones. Okay. And so, I think you guys know how I feel about Chuck Liddell, legend, one of my favorite fighters of all time, right. as, I, as I made clear in the last video. If you've had your day in the sun, yes. okay, and you're well past your prime, yes. and you have finances, yes. what are you doing back in the octagon yes. risking this level of brain damage? Not the octagon, he's in a ring now, because the octagon is a UFC brand. Oh, well, okay. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I just was oh, debating, but... Funny guy. Um, and so with that, then, I, I don't like the whole thing. I also don't like the whole Oscar De La Hoya angle as far as, yeah. like, you're on that side of the fence. You know, MMA is garbage, it's yeah. not a real sport, and all of a sudden you're on this side of the fence. Yeah. I don't like hypocrites. I'm not riding with this whole thing. I might watch, okay? You will watch. <laughs> I might watch, but I don't like what's happening here. How you feel? It's tough for fighters to adjust mm -hmm. to being out of the spotlight. Mm -hmm. For nobody to give a F about you anymore must, is a tough be. feeling yeah. when you're on top of the world in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the sports passed you by. People don't care for you. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants your autograph. Shout out to the Liddell. Shout out to Ortiz. You guys are pioneers. You guys are legends. Legit but legends. you guys are has-beens. Mm -hmm. And that being said, I mean, there, there is a market for people watching them. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm not very excited about this fight. I feel like I just don't need to see any CTE or any mm -hmm. brain trauma in the, in, the, uh, in the sport. And all it's going to do is cast a bad light on the sport and the real true athletes that are evolving their talent day mm -hmm. after day. So no thanks. I'm not buying it. It doesn't look like you're buying it. Is it on TV? I don't know. They'll probably charge ten bucks for. Uh, I'll find for a way to We'll figure it out. I also want to talk about another fight. Oh, you do. Because I did say two. You did say two. The okay. next one, when, on the same level too. Mm -hmm. Wanderlei mm -hmm. versus Rampage, part four. Okay. You interested? In, and that's how actually a Bellator I, how, promotion. How can I be? Okay. How can I be excited about that? Well, fight? Rampage is your boy. You've always loved Rampage, he is one of my as you've mentioned in previous. No, videos. I mean for the same reasons as Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz. I mean we have another fight where it's washed up fighters. Yes. And I wish these guys would. We're talking about legit MMA pioneers and legends, right. right? And sometimes in the moment, like you said, right. when you're wanting to fight, you can forget about the longevity. Yes. Longevity, you guys have done enough for the sport. Like, yes. Chill out. Yeah. Do a little bit of traveling. Yeah. Soul searching. I'm sure there's other things that these guys can all do. Right. Let's go, let's go get to that. And let's how much bad blood do you have? Yeah. You know, you first fought about 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and then you fought about 10 years ago. Like, just get over it, mm -hmm. you know? And, like, your life is moving on, and you're... And, and I think the sport's moving on, too. See you later. I will be watching both fights. I can't wait for them. But I don't care for them. <laughs> <laughs> you watch everything she will be watching, but in general, you're not happy about it. I'm going to be watching, like, I watch Kimbo versus okay. that other dude in yeah. Miami that he beat up or yeah. whatever. Be, like, with the one eye closed, but... Yeah. That's Straight what, Day-Day, Day-Day. That's that Dada, 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 Dada. Oh, you know, all right, whatever. 5,000. 5, Dada, 5,000. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, on that note, we're out. Oost. Yeah.